Our news team is committed to talking about race and racial equality. Two weeks from tonight, our Ken Lemon has an honest and eye-opening conversation with five black men. I'm very cautious of when I walk in that room and I'm the only black person. I think it um, puts us as black men to have to always be at a place of, I guess, defense. I feel like at no point I was allowed to slip up. We never have that opportunity to chill. You can never be off your square. Raise your hand if you've gotten onto an elevator and people who are not black obviously felt uncomfortable. Raise your hand if you've had someone cross the street rather than walk by you. Raise your hand if you felt like you were watching a store. So for me, I'm like, all right, so you know, they, they rely on you, you're the leader of your generation. So what can you do to better on this world that we live in? Because you're, you're the next, you're basically the next generation. Well, that's just a small sample of that honest conversation. You'll hear more about this in the coming days, but we hope you'll make plans for uh, being here at Channel 9 two weeks from tonight for that conversation. And we hope that all the stories you've seen tonight on our award winners and honorees have you inspired to do your part to carry on Dr. King's legacy. You'll find an entire section of the stories, both recent and historical, on WSOCTV.com and our WSOCTV app. Thanks for watching tonight to celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. From all of us here, good night. I want to keep Dr. King alive in the minds of young people who they know Dr. Martin Luther King, but they don't always know what he stood for, what he fought for, and inevitably what he died for. I don't want the dream to die. I just do not want his dream to die. The Dr. Martin Luther King National Holiday Celebration was presented in partnership with Atrium Health, City of Charlotte, and WSOC-TV.